taking the stats every minute this week. I'm doing my part, I'm paying attention, and I play my position. It's the Crypto Lightsaber back with another video, guys. We're going to talk about Surge Poco, a pretty interesting project. Um, somebody I know personally, or at least online, right, who I've known for a little while, um, is actually involved personally in this project as well, which is why I trust it. And, um, you know, this has got some pretty uh, interesting, um, you know, decentralization, um you know, tokenomics or systematics, whatever you call it, right? Um, they've got their own uh, SR, is it SRG20 tokens that you can actually uh, launch on their, their, might as well say like a layer two. It's on Binance Smart Chain, right? But there's a layer, there's another layer where you can launch uh, tokens through their protocol and those are called SRG20s and it doesn't require you to have liquidity all right guys so the liquidity pairings are done through the surge token um, is somewhat trustless you know that liquidity can't be pulled and uh, developers might find that attractive because they don't need a huge uh, you know liquidity pool to start off with so the liquidity is technically provided by the community so when someone actually buys the tokens that actually uh, automates and pairs it and you know you have a a chart all right guys they've got their own charts as well um and bearing in mind that when you actually go on their chart this is basically on the ethereum network and the binance smart chain so you can switch between the two i will link obviously all of the relevant links in the description right but they've just launched um the uh should i say the migrated version of the token because there was a previous contract uh, what they've done is they've migrated it with some improvements and uh, i believe that this will be the final product all right guys but when you are trying to get on the chart just make sure you put in the contract address for either ethereum or binance smart chain and make sure you switch to e4 bsc just press go once and be patient it will load up and um, they have just recently updated as well to the faster version and you know they're continuously developing on this project uh, but i think it's a pretty good project it's true decentralization and um you know DeFi reimagine the reform just like it says on here so we have a read through some of the dls they've got quite a lot of links for you to look uh, for you to look at as well without going through the white paper i've had discussions with you know like i said i know somebody who's involved in this project and he's kind of explained it to me so i'm going to do my best to explain uh, the project um i've kind of already touched on it really with the srg 20s and you know, uh, the liquidity provision and all that sort of stuff. But you've got the tokenomics and all that sort of stuff in the white paper, which we'll have a little look at as well. But it's if it's looking like a brand new chart, that is because, um, yeah, it's just literally launched the new token. However, um, you know, um, it's not very old, okay? It's only um, not even two weeks old, okay, guys? So I believe, if I remember correctly, right, it was launched in December, no, it's launched on the 7th of January, sorry, 7th of January, so it's not even a week old, okay? Um, so, Surge is the first truly decentralized cryptocurrency trading solution, while large parts of crypto traders and developers will claim there are already pretty decentralized exchanges, Surge closes the door for crippling Ponzi schemes in disguise of decentralization, while providing an ecosystem to highlight what truly matters, which is projects with fundamentals and utility so they've got their own swap as well as the their own charts like we've already looked at but they have surge swap as well okay so you can actually do your token swapping and all that sort of stuff over here as well of course you connect your wallet and you just use their protocol you can't actually buy this on pancake swap or poo coin or whatever it's like i said it's decentralized and just everything's done within their ecosystem okay guys and this is just going to take out like you know the opportunity for developers to scam and everything right everything that uh, when a developer uses this platform everything is done within the platform so it's almost like you know a self auditing type of decentralized protocol okay guys liquidity locked and all that sort of stuff like nobody can like pull it out so everything is done through the contract okay guys so uh countless DeFi projects launch every day some after large pre-sales and this kind of talks about uh, liquidity all right guys um and the liquidity locking as well you can read that in your own time but the solution just like we've touched on basically uh, they've created a smart contract that stores its own liquidity pool right inside the smart contract itself 
Trading is made possible by writing a contract functions, buy and sell, right on a blockchain explorer. There's no need to connect your wallet to any dApp, no need to deposit your funds in any centralized exchange, no need to use a third party tool to execute your trades like PancakeSwap and so on. Um, the growing internal liquidity pool cannot be extracted from the contract by no party other than by selling search tokens. There's no possible way to rug search. So like I said, when you actually interact with the contract, right? <clears throat> A developer like launches a new token they don't need to provide any liquidity they can launch it set the price and then once uh, the um you know once people start buying it right it will basically uh you know build its own liquidity pool so the developers can't go in and pull that out um also they have to use surge right which gives surge utility and they need to buy it right and um, they have to use surge in order to um uh, get onto the protocol uh, to start with, right? The surge, when people buy into it, right? Let's say you put 100 BUSD, that will pair automatically um, 100 B, uh, BUSD um, with surge, I believe. I may be getting this a little bit wrong. Okay, I'm confusing myself a little bit, but basically it pairs up the liquidity on its own. The liquidity, let's say the token is called frog token, right? So the liquidity pair will then be surge frog okay so half surge half frog and this will do it automatically okay guys through the protocol if you're following me let me know in the comments if i'm getting anything wrong or if you know because no doubt there's already people out there um i know that because if you go to telegram right they've got 2378 members 788 online it's not a small community it's a pretty decent project okay and they've got pretty decent marketing all right guys they've also got an announcements channel which you might want to join as well all right guys so i'll leave the link in the description for the telegram as well like i said they've got their chart their own charting system they have their own swap so everything is done in-house and what makes surge unique once again there's no trading fees while writing the functions there's no need to approve your tokens you can trade them freely and um, it saves up to 80 percent in trading gas fees as there's no router in the way no risk of falling victim to a front-running transaction like Flashbox or anything like that. Project owners can launch their project using the Surge ecosystem, pair their tokens with Surge. And uh, yeah, so launching a token on Surge comes with a first of its kind advantage. Project owners can set the starting price of their tokens manually and can therefore enable trading without the need of starting liquidity. This eliminates the need and the risk of any form of pre-sale on top. The token can benefit from the already existing swap and charting system for free and like i said you might want to check out the white paper okay everything is in there you know it reflects on the website okay guys like tokenomics and so on but of course you guys you always got to do your own research don't risk more than what you can afford to lose the contract addresses you will find on here as well in the white paper um has that been updated the with the old and the new let's just see BFF, I know that the uh, contract address might be, okay, yeah. So the, the white paper's got the correct contract addresses updated and so on. So Ethereum or BSC, of course, you can choose which network you want to buy it on. Okay, guys, and that's up to you to do your own research if you do decide to invest in this token. And again, there's no swap fees. Okay, guys, but... Um, uh, Buying and selling surge is taxed with 5% five per, uh, per transaction when you're trading the actual sur surge token, okay? And 3% goes into their vault, 2% goes to the team, and that's how they make their money. All right, guys. Oh, and it says here that the taxes will continuously be decreased as the project grows, and it has an audit with solid proof, which, of course, you guys might want to check that out. I don't know what I'm looking at when I look at an audit. But um, I know that Solid Proof is a decent German auditing company. And then the roadmap, okay. Roadmap planned in Q1 2023. So Sophia on and off ramp, NFTs, expansion to more blockchains. And they've already got an audit. Um, and this is everything that they've already achieved. Okay, guys, launch on ETH, launch on BNB, Telegram, buy bar. Uh, multi-chain surge swap dap um token contract and all sorts all right guys so 
I think this is a pretty good project. It's from a trusted source, in my opinion anyway. Somebody that I know, like I said. And, um, you know, I think it's pretty unique. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this before, to be honest. It is truly decentralized. I can say that about it as well. And everything is done in-house. You know, for me, um, I do kind of wonder, you know, sometimes why teams limit their exposure to a potential market because a lot of people will kind of look at this if you tell them about it they'll say it's on binance smart chain and they will kind of go on to PooCoin or pancake swap or they'll go on dex tools or whatever and try and pull up the chart and they won't be able to do that so it's not until they actually get in the community someone's got to explain it to them or you know if they don't have time to read through the white paper or watch a video on it they're going to be thinking, well, where's the chart? You know, how do I buy this token and stuff like that? Why can't I buy it on PancakeSwap? But obviously when you, you know, when when they actually look into the project, they might think, oh, actually, truly decentralized. But I think it just takes a little bit of explaining to get there, or at least it did for me. That's the only thing I would say about this, okay? But on the upside, it is truly decentralized. And obviously it, it talks about why um, it's, you know, what makes it unique and why it might be, you know, a better opportunity for you as an investor with it not being on Pancake Swap and not being, you know, on those other protocols. All right, guys, you'll save in your trading fees and, you know, there's no risk to, to, to be, uh, falling victim to front running and, you know, losing money and stuff like that. And, of course, you know, they've got their anti-rug tokenomics and stuff like that. So, you know, I think it's a pretty decent project. Um, the token ticker is srg and um yeah of course this is going to be appealing to both developers and investors developers of course because they can launch new tokens and um you know some might say you know why why launch it on surge you know and, and not like um, another protocol and uh, because they don't have to provide liquidity and especially on the binance smart chain you get a lot of projects that are not very high in liquidity and they really don't have a lot of budget a lot of these projects which is uh, can be a flaw sometimes, all right, guys. But they may choose to use this protocol for the simple fact that they don't have to cough up a bunch of money for liquidity. So you just never know, all right, guys. So I just wanted to highlight that, put it on your radar. Search protocol looks like a pretty decent project, and uh, we'll have to see where it can go from here. Um, but yeah, the chart did pump. The initial chart uh, did pump, and we see the liquidity be, uh, liquidity being added here. And of course, it's going to pull back after that, but. You know, it's all about community, community effort, all right, guys? And these guys definitely have that. And it seems like they have the hype. And it seems like they've got some good devs as well. And um, if you go on the, uh, where is it? If you go on the link tree, there's actually a YouTube channel and they've got AMA. So I do recommend you go and check those out as well. I have listened to an AMA myself just to get myself up to speed on what's going on. They've only got four videos, all right, guys? But... You know, you can go and watch those and kind of, you know, do some further research if you have time. All right, guys. So I'm going to leave all the links in the description for Surge DeFi. Let me know what you think in the comments. And um, that's about it for this video, guys. If you're not subscribed to the channel, subscribe. Uh, like the video, which helps with the YouTube algorithm. And I'll see you guys in the very next video. Okay.